Ghost Hunters Bro Sham and I Studio team up for one of the scariest paranormal explorations in Indonesia. This time they're exploring a haunted hospital that gives them chills, literally. So di depan saya memang hutan eh, hutan beluka. He senses a drop in temperature. The camera goes out of focus. A shadow stretches out to him and then goes away. When he looks over, it's nowhere to be found. They spend a long time exploring the courtyard for more paranormal activity, but get no further signs. Inside, the hospital is being taken back by the rainforest one room at a time, but plenty of the place remains haunted. Salaam. The voice is coming from a room that has a drawing of a witch-like head on the wall. There's no other drawings anywhere else in the hospital, just here. Whatever drew this knew what was in here. As they leave this haunted place, they find this figure upright in the forest, face and body wrapped up in a single cloth, not making a single sound. I don't know if it's a ghost or one of them pretending to be a spirit, but it's creepy and they get out of there without getting any closer. School is the last place most people want to be in general, but in a crisis, there's an added layer of angst. Published by the Anchorage School District in December of 2018, a classroom security camera captured the scary magnitude 7.1 quake as it hit Anchorage, Alaska on November 30th of that same year at about 8.30 in the morning. The video shows the room and its objects start to tremble as the camera begins to shake. Coached for such an event, the students know what to do as they jump under their desks without any prompting from the teacher, who ducks under a desk as well. The projector shakes the most aggressively, while objects are seen falling from the desks and walls. The power goes out for a moment and you can hear the teacher trying to keep the students calm. <laughs> After the initial quaking comes to an end, the teacher tells the kids to remain under the desks. Everybody okay? Breathe in, go in, sir. Stay underneath the table. After a while, the fire alarm goes off, and the students retreat from the classroom. More than 80 aftershocks followed throughout the day, with three reaching magnitudes of 5.0 or greater. One of them occurred just six minutes after this original quake. Way to keep calm and carry on. A YouTuber named Hunting the Dead dares to play with a Ouija board inside of his own home. Aside from using the board itself, he also has a ghost hunting device which scans different frequencies for any signs of the paranormal. He begins asking questions out loud, and it isn't long before he gets a fairly clear response. Is there evil in this home? The spirit then begins highlighting the same number three times in a row. Six. Holy sh Six. Six. Hunting the dead soon finds out exactly who the spirit is and what it wants. Zozo, do you want to attack me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's on, yes, it went off. Shortly afterwards, Hunting the Dead begins to feel gravely ill and needs to go to the hospital. Exploring abandoned houses for paranormal evidence is an activity that's as old as YouTube itself, as this early video taken in August of 2005 shows. The team of amateur ghost hunters are exploring an abandoned house from the street when activity within lets them know it's quite haunted. At two seconds, one of them points to an all-white apparition and they all take off. I don't think this is fake because video editing was not that common back in 05, and when you play it in slow motion, you can actually see the mysterious figure go from right to left across the doorway. It's bizarre, sure, but was it a ghost?
A group of friends are hanging out late at night when a strange yelping sound brings them to a window to investigate. Do you hear that? What the? They start to argue about if it sounds like a regular animal, in distress, or some sort of rare and mysterious creature. Listen to these noises and tell me if this sounds like anything you've ever heard in the woods before. All of them soon start to feel uncertain about hanging around the open window and back away. I think it sounds like it could possibly be an animal that's being hunted but I'm not sure. What do you think is happening and would you be brave enough to go into the woods and find out? I wouldn't. A man follows his girlfriend everywhere with a camera to annoy her because he thinks it's funny. He was never expecting to have caught the scariest moment of his life on tape instead. A fully clothed figure reaches out for him after his girlfriend has left the room. When he pulls back the curtain, it's mysteriously gone. The paranormal moment looks scary, but I think there's a strong chance it's scripted. 38 seconds is when there could have been a jump cut. A jump cut is when they stopped recording, let the actress out of the shower, and start recording again to make it look like no one is there. Also, at 42 seconds, it doesn't look like the shower is on. As it turns out, nostalgia isn't always a good thing. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hey There, You Are Okay, the Redditor explains, So I was going through my old 3DS photos for nostalgia. The reason why I'm posting on this sub is because I'm not for sure if I caught anything in the background. Do you think it's younger me being scared? The video clip shows an empty bedroom. As he starts to scan the room, the video captures a dark room beyond. It's hard to tell if there's a window in that room. However, something appears to move there, or at least a shadow is cast that mimics movements. The camera passes upward to the ceiling, and when it returns to the closet, the shadow and light has changed a bit. But it's the next time the camera pans from one side to the other that the real change occurs. Explain these unknowable shadows. What is going on here? Is there something or someone in that room? No wonder the Redditor was freaked out. A few days ago, strange sounds started coming from an old shower stall in this house that Alejandro has not used in years. He wasn't sure if it was rats or something, so he went up there with a camera and this scary sighting is what's been caught on video. Twenty seconds after showing us nothing was in the shower, this ghostly figure presses against the glass, flies upwards and disappears. This almost has to be CGI because there are absolutely no editing cuts and the way they fade away doesn't look like somebody simply stepping away from the glass. He reinvestigates and the shower is just as empty as before. This video was taken somewhere deep in the Philippines. To anyone watching from the Philippines, can you please listen to this and tell me if it sounds like any wildlife you have ever heard. It almost sounds more like a machine than a human. Take another listen and tell me if you agree. YouTuber Moxley's Crazy Adventures posted this haunted graveyard video in November of 2019 writing, Welcome back to my first haunted graveyard. I went here to see what I could capture, if anything at all. What I did capture was insane. Alright, you reeled us in. Let's just hope you deliver. And Moxley does deliver. He captures a dark shadow-like figure gliding across the backdrop of a lit brick wall. He shouts out to it, but it doesn't respond. What the f is that? Hello? He later hears heavy footsteps nearby. They're clearly heard in the leaves around him. In the comments, YouTuber Spooky Spectre notes that this thing wasn't moving like a human being, nor did the brush move as it passed by. 
It also didn't respond when being called out to or make noise or footsteps. Do you agree with Spooky Spectre? Did this freak you out? If not, then you're one brave cookie. Time to brush your teeth. Published to YouTube by Talal Essa in April of 2017. You'll probably be triple checking your tap before you do that after watching this video. Asking why does black water come out of the tap? Talal demonstrates this unsettling happening, letting his tap run with inky, brackish, blackish brown water emitting from the faucet. The color does not dilute at all in the entire minute that he leaves it running. Is this toxic water? Probably not. Many in the comments offer suggestions for what's likely going on, with YouTuber Jack Jamin suggesting, the color is likely due to heavy metal buildup, he says. Mick Bradford and Rumble Lane went another way though. Bradford asks, do you have a well and live next to a cemetery? Well, Rumble Lane simply states, there's a demon in your faucet. Certainly looks like it. This creepy farmhouse will have you swearing off abandoned buildings for life. Published by Da Dio's Urban Exploration in April of 2013, the uploader admits to being skeptical to the paranormal, but this incident made him consider opening up to the possibility. Da writes that the house sits about a half a kilometer from a road in Bob Cage, Ontario. The house is isolated with just a barn and an outcrop of other buildings. It appears from a distance to be tightly boarded up, but a back door was wide open. He writes, now it is very possible all the environmental conditions were perfect for this experience. However, Wingman Jan happened to be with me on this explore, and we are in agreement. There was something more to this. He says the video doesn't really do the reality justice. The sounds were much more magnified, which he describes as like freight trains. He writes, there was the sound of someone else walking. There was the sound of something heavy being dragged across the floor, and when exiting, it was like being followed out to the threshold of inside and out. Without further ado, let's take a look at the cryptic video. Even the approach to the house's exterior is a bit unnerving. The back door is under an overhanging, which our friends sneak beneath to catch a glimpse of a bunch of knickknacks and garbage littering the ground, including an old sewing machine. The back door is wide open, it's dark inside. They climb the steps to the kitchen area, also disheveled and covered with odds and ends. Once inside, they're stepping over the trash and other items on the floor while scanning the rooms with a flashlight. They enter the living room. Something on a door across the room flies up. It appears to be blown by a breeze. The door then opens and slams shut while our brave Da backs away. Instead of racing out of there, they get closer. The door keeps creaking open and slamming shut again. He finally enters the empty hallway. No one is there. He shines the flashlight upstairs, and just when you think he's going to explore that second level, he hurries the heck out of that house. Probably a smart idea. The house alone is unsettling. I can't imagine what being there in person must have felt like. Although Da knows some might call him a coward for being afraid, he insists that you had to be there to know what it truly felt like. On the contrary, most people believe in the comments of this video that Da was brave to stay in this obviously haunted house as long as he did. I'm one of them. Is someone there? Posted to the ghosts subreddit. Resurrect writes, the De Soto Mine in Arizona is the creepiest place I've ever been. At the time this was taken, nobody else was there. Yet, listen closely to their recording. From deep within the mine, you can hear footsteps walking on what sounds like wooden planks. The Redditor says in the video that his eyes are playing tricks on him, but he writes that they didn't hear anything but water droplets at the time. They only heard the footsteps later as they watched the recording back.
I really hope it's not my eyes playing with me, but like, is something in this tunnel with them? Some in the comments think it's paranormal, others suggest the water droplet theory, which is that the echoing of water droplets can distort to the point that they sound like other sounds. What do you think? Is this nothing but distorted water droplets? Or is something at the end of that dark tunnel? This home video looks like it was taken sometime during the 1990s. A child is sitting in a high chair, happily learning about the different names for various parts of the body when something briefly interrupts the innocent lesson. This is my elbow. Where is it? the go. The child tracks an invisible object with an exaggerated head motion. Then he mumbles about a ghost. It's hard to tell what he says, but I think he might have said there's the ghost or something along those lines, almost as if he's been at it before and has been expecting to see it again for some time. The child thinks for a bit and then says something else that's really weird. <laughs> it almost sounds like he's asking if his dad got the ghost or something like that. It's hard to tell what he says here, so give me your best guess. Maybe together we can figure out the surrounding circumstances behind this video. Anyway, things go back to normal for a bit, and it looks like the paranormal encounter is over. But then he makes a really confused face and looks around again saying something else that's completely indecipherable. Even if we were to know the identity of the child in this video, I doubt they would remember anything of use. All we have to go by is this puzzling piece of paranormal evidence. You can see a lot more from a bird's eye view, but that doesn't make things any clearer. YouTuber Stromedy captured something truly disturbing from his drone in the middle of the night. Watch and see if you can make sense of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What Dude, that? That's a runner, dude! That's a runner! Look, look! Now, now he just got up and started running! They're both running! Okay, guys, guys, calm, calm, stay calm, stay calm. People are running amok, knocking others over. What is happening here? I can't make heads or tails from this. And at ground level, it gets even stranger. I'm landing it. Wait, yo, 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 yo! What is this guy after? I'd like to think this was some sort of game this group plays at night, but I have no idea what that game could be. Can anyone make sense of this? DJ Ashba has a YouTube channel full of videos regarding his music career, but one in particular is way different. This CCTV video captures some unexplainable activity in his private backyard. It all starts when a small white blip appears out of nowhere and flashes all the way across the patio. I want to add that this camera does not skip frames and that the light actually was moving this way in real time. Approximately 10 seconds later, the door opens completely by itself. The door was not slightly open before and it looks like a calm day with no wind. Coincidentally, the door that opens is also the same door that the white light appeared in moments prior. DJ Ashba checked the security camera after coming home to see his door open, and this video leaves him with no easy answers. The best explanation I have after reviewing the evidence is that this was in fact paranormal, especially considering his other videos are not like this at all. What do you think? Alright guys. I'm going to show you one of the reasons we hate this house. There's a YouTuber named Not Your Average Wife, who apparently does not live in your average home either. Her dog Catherine absolutely refuses to go down the steps leading to their basement. Follow the dog's eyes because I think it might be seeing something down there that none of us can. Catherine, come on baby. Come on pretty. Come on baby. Not even a nudge from behind can convince Catherine to go down the stairs. Come on, Catherine. And just to prove it's not a general fear of steps, 
They show her using different stairs without a problem. Maybe the dog almost fell down basement steps or something and is now afraid of them. At least, that's the only non-paranormal explanation I can think of. And if it is paranormal, based on how Catherine is acting, it must be something sinister in that basement. D-Master flexes camping overnight in a haunted cemetery. They get bored and let their guard down long enough to play a game. Yo, 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 hold on, hold on. The Tower of Jenga blocks collapses seemingly all by itself. The tower was clearly built on a level surface, and there appears to be no strong winds to blow it over. I guess it could have just been a string, but if not, then this incident is almost certainly paranormal. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you. Thank you.